Okay, let's do one more example. Let's say we want to find uh, the Fourier uh, transform for uh, your Gaussian signal that would be given by uh, this function e minus a x square for some a greater than zero. So you have recognized a function that we have many times uh, worked with this year and that you will see uh, uh, very commonly in the second semester because that's the basis of your probability and statistics class. So that's the usual bell curve and let's add some parameter to it because that's also some very usual thing that we can do. So the thing is that we want to find the uh, Fourier transform of uh, that function, so it should be given by the uh, using the usual definition. So I'm sorry, I really have a lot of problems with my pen. Uh, that's going to be the integral on R of uh, so e minus a x two e minus two i pi psi x dx. And the problem, if you remember, is that uh, this function. We don't have any ways to express some primitive of this function with the usual uh, functions that we know. So uh, this is a problem to compute this integral. But you remember probably that one function we can easily find a primitive of is that one. Okay, it's just very easy to find a primitive of this one. And you also remember one of the um, uh, formulas we have seen just previously that links the uh, Fourier series of uh, x, f of x, well, which is what we have here, actually, right? That whole thing is the Fourier series of x, f of x, and the uh, derivative of the Fourier series, and we had a minus 2i pi that comes as a factor, and we've got here on that side the derivative of the Fourier transform of our function. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this uh, ID. Uh, so we are going to write so that f hat uh, prime a of psi, that's minus 2i pi, so integral between on R of x times e minus a x2 e minus 2i pi psi x dx. Okay, let's compute this. Uh, we're going to, that's not maybe trivial to, to uh, have this intuition, but we're going to use an IBP uh, using this as uh, the v prime and this as the u. So that what's the idea is that the idea is that in the end we would like to uh, have an equation that links the uh, f prime hat of a, so that's uh, on the left hand side, and on the right hand side using the IBP formula I will be able to find the f hat a of psi. So let's see how that works. So if that's v prime uh, or what would our v be? Our v would be uh, so e minus a x two, and I also have to use a minus to divide by a and to divide by two. Okay, so if you differentiate that, you really have uh, minus two a, and so that's does minus two a x, and that gives you the v prime we have. This one, that's the u, so the u prime would be, uh, so I just have 2i two, two pi xi e minus 2i pi xi x. Okay, so let's write my IBP. I've got that this is equal to minus 2i pi times brackets of the non-differentiated ones. So minus e minus a x squared divided by 2a times e minus 2i pi xi x to negative infinity and plus infinity minus, so uh, I still have a minus 2i pi as a factor, this one. And then what do I get? I get, uh, I will get a minus 1 over 2a that comes from v and I will get a uh, Minus 2i pi 
xi that comes from the u prime and what finally in my integral so i get the e minus i x2 oh, that's really hard e minus i x2 times e minus 2 i pi xi x dx okay here we have what we uh, expected f hat i of xi okay that's just the simple well simple that's just the fourier transform of my equation signal uh what's about what's the other terms this thing uh this thing that's going to be the value in negative infinity, a n plus infinity of e minus i x square with a positive. So that thing is just going to be zero because I've got zero times something that is, well, uh, uh, of modulus one. Okay, so that's just zero. Uh, what about that side? We've got how many minus? All the minus, we have four minus, so they are going to make a plus. But I also have one i to i so that's i square so that gives me a minus okay minus two divided by two so one of the two simplify uh i've got oh, still one of the two this one and then i've got uh, pi square pi square and i've got one xi and it's divided by a all right so the relation we obtain is that f hat prime a of xi is minus 2 pi square xi over a times f at hat a of xi and you have uh, of course all uh, recognized a good old differential equation that could be written as uh, f hat prime of xi my variable in xi divided by f hat of xi is equal to this thing which is minus two that's two pi square xi over a so we do we just solve uh, this differential equation as you know how to do this so that's going to be Let's find a, a primitive on both sides. So on the left hand side, f prime over f, that's just as usual, log of absolute value of f. Primitive or with respect to xi. Okay, don't forget that this is integration with respect to xi of minus 2 pi square xi over a. So that's uh, minus pi square uh, xi square over a plus constant then i'm using the exponential and from that i get that uh, f of xi so f hat sorry that was f hat of xi is equal to uh, so i've got my constant exponential so exponential of my constant and but you know that's just an arbitrary constant and positive or negative depending on uh, what we will have as uh, what what we will find, and okay, so exponential minus pi square xi square over a. So in the end, well, in the end, it's not over yet; it's nearly done. Um, we have that that um, uh, we have that uh, this is also some kind of Gaussian signal. Okay, so that's actually, I can even write a relation between f hat and f no, not hat. My original function is just some constant times f uh, a of, but applied to, well, the variables um, that would be pi xi over a. Okay, uh, what is c? okay uh what we can uh well we we can find c uh, using some uh 
specific value. So for instance, if I, well, just the initial condition, let's have a look at what the initial condition would be. We really have that f hat i of zero, well, that would be the value of c. What is f hat, f hat i of zero? But that's actually equal to the integral of e minus i x2 times my exponential 2i pi 0x. So that's 1 dx. Negative infinity and plus infinity. And well, that's just, we have computed that many times. Well, we have computed the same thing with, uh, instead of a, we just had 1 times x square. And uh, you can maybe, uh, rem you, what you have to remember is that the, uh, or what I will remind you any time we need that, but uh, then it's a remarkable value that you should uh, know in the end, is that this integral on R is uh, square root of pi. Okay, we had one exercise in tutorial where we computed, well, half of it on R plus, and that was square root of pi over 2. Okay, so you do your uh, substitution, sorry, uh, in, in your integral, and what you should get is that this is equal to square root of pi over A. So that finally we have that f hat A of xi is equal to square root of pi over A e minus pi square, psi square over a. Okay, good.